I'm back. So I'm trying to show you guys the park problem. And most, and most of you guys didn't do it correctly. And this is going on your grade. So I know a lot of you guys are going to want to retake this. So to retake this, I'm going to go step by step. How do you solve each area? So what I see on chapter six, this is from chapter five, but chapter six, it's all about trapezoid. So you're going to be having a lot of practice on trapezoid. Even on the back test you took on chapter five, which I gave you some more trapezoid, did not look too good for you guys. I'm gonna have you guys retake that back test online. So what I'm gonna do this time around, I'm gonna give you practice. We're gonna practice with this one again. So I'm gonna go step by step. How do we find the area of a trapezoid? So let's get started. So how do we find the area of a trapezoid? Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see it, this is from page 249 in your textbook. So how do we solve this? So we have base one and base two, right? Same thing almost like when you solve a triangle, right? It's calling for half. So we see a triangle right here, but we also see a rectangle here. We were learning how to separate each of them and solve them, if you do that, Saw the rectangle and then sell the triangle by separately. Or you could just do the whole trapezoid and solve it. Ah. The base one plus base two times the height. Let's get this. So what's half, well, half the base plus base one times the height? Oh, so we're going to do step by step. Do remember a rule of order operation? You start with the parentheses. So we'll start with the parentheses first. So base one is 10, base two is 20. Solving the inside, you know that's 30 right there. And they're asking us half that times the height. So we know the height is 8 half of 30. We left off on adding our base 1 plus our base 2. 10 plus 20 equals 30. And we said half of 30 was 15. We're going to multiply it with the height, and we know it 15 times 8 equals 120, and that's our area for the trapezoid. Don't forget to put the two ends. And our book on page 265 will give you on math notes and methods the area of a trapezoid. But in CPM, in our book, they tell us to use, instead of B1, B2, they're calling the bases A and B. Okay, so whatever is easier for you guys to remember, base one, base two, or you could use A and B. It's the same thing. And that's how we solve an area of a trapezoid. I will be giving you guys more trapezoid practice we could go ahead and solve more math problems from our textbook. So we'll try to finish up chapter six. A lot of it is review. Uh, the beginning of chapter six is fractions. The second part, it's dividing fractions, which a lot of you guys already know. That's the first part. The second part is on trapezoid. And that should be pretty easy for you guys to do. Hopefully you understood the lesson. And I'll talk to you guys later on again. This is our school. 
no one's here. What are we on day what? Day 10. And coming by to show you guys how much we miss the school. And of course, I forgot my keys, so here's Miss here's Eric letting me in. Eric, you want to say a quick hi to the kids? See you guys. Hope you guys are eating your breakfast sandwiches and coffee and stay home. Nice advice. Stay at home. I'm just running in quickly to grab the mat.